Hi folks, I'm back. It is uh, Saturday, uh, October the 5th. I'm Don Shader and I'm going to talk to you today about my budget and how much money it costs me to live here in Monta. We've talked about this before. I've shown my budget before. There are a lot of people that want to come here and think they can live here on $500 a month, $600 a month, $1,000 a month. Maybe you can. You're not going to live where I live on that kind of a budget. So uh, as soon as I come back, I'll get started and show you my spreadsheet for the month. Hey! Hello there. I, I always I, I like talking to people about what it costs to live here, you know, because you see other YouTubers talk about their expenses, and sometimes some are believable, some are I don't know if I believe them, you know. It depends on where you live. I live right on the coast here. I live here in Monta. I have an ocean view, a uh, pretty nice view from my place. I don't live right on the beach. I've got buildings that are across the street from me that I have to look over. You know, one of them... Uh, Santorini, which is off over that way, I can, I can, there's one section up there that blocks my view. If it wasn't for that one little section there, it's probably about the size of a credit card. If I held a credit card out, it's, it's about, at arm's length, it's about that much of my uh, 180 degree view that I lose, you know, but who cares? I can live with that, uh, especially for what I pay. I don't have to pay uh, as you'll see from my budget, I paid less than $1,000 a month for my rental. My apartment's two bedroom, two baths apartment, pretty decent. It's on the top floor. I'm not going to tell you exactly where it's at. Most people that are here know where I live anyway, but I've been advised by other people to not describe, not tell people where I live. Uh, I've already got one crazy, wacko guy named Tom LeVay that wants to come here and wants to threaten me and come here and tap me on my shoulder so that's bad enough as it is so anyway I, I won't tell you where I live but anyway here's my budget and I recorded this from my from the headset on my computer so this, the audio will be a, a little bit different uh, here it is here's my budget for the month of September believe it or not this is my second attempt to show this budget to you I I keep getting interrupted by the truck that's sitting in the street across from my apartment with the alarm it keeps going off uh, anyway so here we go all right here's my budget for september 22 and here's what i actually budgeted as you can see right here and then here in this column you can see what i actually spent if you want to get right to the bottom line there's the bottom figure 22.60.38 i went over budget by 25 dollars and 80 cents i'm a firm believer in having a budget and what i don't show in this budget is how much money i set aside for my emergency fund um, and i don't show my income so sorry i'm not going to show all that that's personal information but i think it's what i spent i think it's important for everybody to see that because everybody's lifestyle is different than what you might see from Amelia and JP or anybody else that talks about their budget. I don't know of any other YouTubers that talk about their budget, but anyway, this is mine. So my rent, my budget is $700 a month. I actually paid $700. I paid that back myself. The reason why I only pay $700 for this Ocean View apartment is because I pay it six months in advance. So I give them $4,200 and they give me 600 bucks off. They want 800 for the apartment, which is still not bad when you consider that it's the top apartment on my building and I don't have anybody stomping over my head like I had in my last place. That takes care of rent. My electric bill, I budgeted $30 and I actually paid 25.10. I had to pay an additional 35 cents to pay Western Union for paying that bill. My gas bill, this is my cooking gas in my kitchen. I budget 10 bucks. I actually only paid 670. My water bill, this is my bottled water as you can see here. I budget $10. I actually paid $6. I get my bottled water at $3 a bottle 
a, 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 a dollar goes to the actual cost of the bottle of water. A second dollar goes to the guards that run the bottled water business here in my building. And then I give the guard a dollar for bringing it up and putting it on my counter. That $5 bottle of water, or $5, that five gallon bottle of water feels like it weighs 100 pounds. I know it's not, but it's very heavy. It's heavy for me. So anyway, my internet's 3558. My internet originally was included with my rent, but like most places around here, the internet that comes with your rent is garbage. It's when I first came here, I had five megs download. So I asked the landlord if I could just, uh, I told them they can keep their internet and I'll just pay for my own. So I have a hundred gig uh, fiber optic internet to the box and I'm actually hitting around 200 gigs. It only cost me 35.58, as you can see here. I'm very happy with that. Never had any trouble with it. It's called NetLife. I recommend them. If you come here and you're going to stay here permanently, don't get TV cable. Well, maybe you can. They may have it just as good, but their equipment is old. And with uh, NetLife, all their equipment is fiber. They bring fiber right to the box inside your apartment. My house cleaning is 50 bucks. I budgeted. I actually paid 62. As the, my cleaning lady came twice in September, she charges $25, and I give her extra money for her taxi. I give her six dollars because she pays three dollars one way to get here by taxi, and I just couldn't bear that. I just couldn't stand her having to pay that. And so I give it to her. So I gave her 62 bucks for the month. And she's very happy with that. My cell phone bill, is, I budget 25. It's actually 23.80. I have Claro. I have an unlimited plan. I have the best that you can get as far as I know. My groceries, I budgeted 250 bucks. I spent 262.63 spent on groceries in September. My laundry service is 40 bucks. That's $10 a week. That's what it boils down to. The guy actually charged me $9.70, and I gave him $10, and don't worry about the change. So my actual was $40. My TV, I have Tenet TV. I used to have Magis. Magis sucks as far as I'm concerned. It's a dollar less per month, but it, it buffers so much, you can't hardly watch a lot of stuff. And they don't have near the channel lineup that Tenet has. I have thousands of channels of Tenet. Don't have to have a VPN. It only cost me $11 a month, and it works great. Works better than the cable I had back home. My transportation costs, a million JP, was not $25. I budget 50 bucks. I don't know where they get $25 from. I, I absolutely, just that's the one thing I just absolutely don't believe from them. And they can say what they want to say, but I actually spent $93.50 on taxis. So I don't know how anybody, if, I, I guess you can get by on $25 a month in transportation costs here. You're going to do a lot of walking. So anyway, that's that's for me. I don't mean to diss a million JP. They don't, they don't need any grief from me. It's bad enough, the grief that I got from supporting them for a number of months and couldn't even get a freaking cup of coffee from them. I couldn't even get them to let me buy them a cup of coffee. Guess that's the way it is when you become YouTube superstars. But anyway, okay, back on the budget. Uh, sorry about that, folks. You know how I am. It's just a Don Shader show, and I just say it like it is. Uh, $249.87 for dining out. Okay, I stayed right under budget, as you can see. So I did good there. Giving tips. I budgeted $100. I only gave out $28.50. I can't believe I didn't give out more than that because I usually try to give out the whole $100. Normally I do. I don't. Maybe I made a mistake here. But anyway, when I went and looked at all my records and my receipts and stuff and my tracking program that I use, I only spent $28.50. Subscriptions. That's my Adobe subscription or yeah, subscription for. My Photoshop in Lightroom, and then I have a dollar rate I pay for uh, cloud storage to Apple. I actually spent $12. My insurance, I budget $60. I pay $59. That's my private insurance. No, I don't have IESS right now. I'm just living with this private insurance. My medical bills for the month, I budgeted $200, and I spent 200 
and that was because of COVID. That was testing, doctor visits, so forth. Prescriptions, I budgeted 50 bucks, I spent 65.30. Entertainment, I budgeted $100, I spent nothing on entertainment. But look at here, I had a lot of fun, $118.80. Fun for me is what I spent on beer and wine. And I've discovered over the last previous months that I spend almost as much money on beer and wine as I do on my groceries. Beer and wine is not a bargain here, folks. Yeah, I mean, you can get some rock gut, you can get moonshine, and just for pennies on the dollar. But if you want to drink decent beer and good wine, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. Period. Then of course I had miscellaneous. I didn't budget anything for miscellaneous, but uh, two sixty sixty. I don't know. I don't even remember what I spent that on. Doesn't really make any difference. But total spent twenty two sixty thirty eight. A difference of minus twenty five eighty. That's about normal for me, folks. Around two thousand uh, bucks. Like I said earlier, I spend. I have money that I set aside for my emergency fund. I, uh, I'm fortunate enough that I make enough that I'm able to save a significant amount of money each month that I don't have to spend. That's it. That's my budget for September 2022. If you have any questions about anything, leave them in the comment section. You can send me an email if you like. I, my tastes are probably a little bit more than what some people. I could save $62 by not doing house cleaning. I could do my own laundry and save eleven dollars. That'd be seventy-two dollars. Of course, if I didn't drink beer and wine, I'd save two hundred eighteen there. And then, of course, medical. I mean, you're going to, now that I have my private insurance, my medical will reduce significantly because my insurance will pay for all that stuff. All I have to do is turn in all the receipts, and it'll pay for uh, my policy pays up to fifteen thousand dollars a month, or fifteen thousand dollars. That's just the total cap. I don't know if that's for the year or, or what. I'd look into that, won't I? Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, um, I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao. Can you believe we still like each other? No, I can't. I know, right? It doesn't make sense. For some reason, you're the only one I want to hang out with. After all these years. I'm still not sick of your face. I still want to see you naked. Listen, I've seen you do some nasty shit. <laughs> I guess we're supposed to be together. Right?